Amazon unveils the Amazon Echo Show. First female general partner hired at Benchmark. Snapchat adds new features for photo editing and more. It's Tuesday, May 9th, and this is Crunch Report, brought to you by a BMW, the ultimate driving machine. How's everybody doing out there? Hope you're all hustling and getting ready for some New York disrupt action next week. Here's the news. The craziest thing about rumors is sometimes those rumors end up being true. There were leaks last week, and we reported on them. And today, Amazon unveiled the Echo Show, a Wi-Fi-enabled home device with a 7-inch screen that is the newest addition to its Alexa-powered Echo range of home hubs that plays media, responds to voice commands, and has a video chat feature. The device, which comes in black and white versions, will cost $229.99 and will be shipped from June 28th with pre-orders available now. For starters, it looks like Amazon Show will only be available in the U.S. Benchmark Capital has added a new general partner, Sarah Tovel, now making six general partners in the firm and the first female partner ever, saying that her career-long desire and commitment to be one of the world's great venture capitalists makes her an ideal addition to the Benchmark team. Tovel joins the firm from Greylock Partners, where she was hired roughly one and a half years ago as a partner, following a three-year-long stint at Pinterest as a product manager. Prior to Pinterest, Tavel had spent six years with Bessemer Venture Partners, where she rose to the rank of vice president. Breaking news! Da -da 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 -dum. Amazon is launching. Wait, I don't have it here for some reason. Joe, what are they launching? Free voice calls and messages. Wait, really? You mean a replacement for that green app that used to come on my iPhone dock that I moved into a folder years ago? I almost forgot that existed. But I guess making phone calls is still an important task, and well, making them free sure doesn't hurt. I mean, unless you're Verizon or AT&T or something, but like, I don't think anyone but the FCC cares what they think. Amazon is trying to put a spin on the old technology by leveraging the power of their growing family of Alexa-enabled Echo hardware devices. An interesting one is called Drop-In. It makes it possible to connect to someone else over the phone without them actually answering the phone. Interesting. But two pieces of advice. One, don't become the circle. And two, don't become a giant man-eating telecom company. That is all. Carry on, Amazon. Snapchat might be getting copied left and right by Facebook, but an attitude can't be copied. Snapchat embraced its playfulness and isn't afraid to spend millions of dollars on creating stickers. This, of course, could be that it still has runway to monetize, but hey, either the company is going to become a giant or we're all going to have a bunch of fun on the slow descent into the ocean. This morning, Snap announced a handful of new features for editing photos, the ability to remove objects with the flick of your finger, and the ability to draw a string of emoji with your finger like a brush. Think of how long it would take you and how much processing power you would need in the old days of Photoshop to accomplish the same tasks. Almost makes me tear up. <laughs> Tech is getting so mature. They grow so fast. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Good to be back. Crunch Report is every week at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. All right, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.